It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. Today is a special day because it's the end of the year. The holidays are around the corner. You're hearing the Mar Mariah Carey's coming out. Everybody, it's, it's Christmas time. So this is the best time to recap the year that we've had together. Because thanks to you guys, we've been able to accomplish so many things and things I would have never even imagined. So this is just a little recap of 2022. Let's go. Now we got to start towards the beginning of the year. And one of the best things or coolest things was we got nominated top 20 under 40 professionals in Brickle magazine. That was like the most surreal thing in this world. Got a call one day randomly. Hey, you've been nominated as a top 20 under 40 individual. And that was honestly like a moment that like I had even like dreamed of. It's so crazy. And then on top of that, we got nominated top 1.49% of realtors nationwide, which is another feat that I was like, I've always wanted to be a top producer. It was always on my, on my dream board. And doing it was just like a crazy surreal feeling. And then we spoke at Barry University. We did a nice presentation there and uh, <laughs> That was a pretty cool experience speaking in front of, you know, different university kids and all of that. Now, another thing we saw this year was one of the craziest real estate markets I think anyone has ever seen, right? The beginning of the year, there were lines outside of the house, which you're seeing on your screen right over here, lines and lines. There were multiple offers on every single house. It was cash offers over asking price hundreds of thousands of dollars, sometimes even millions. It was insane. And then towards the end of the year, we saw a shift in the market. So we had a year in the beginning that was crazy. And then towards the end, the market shifted because interest rates started to go up because the Fed wanted to halt spending. So they, in, they raised the interest rates. And that just caused a whole, like kind of like madness where people are kind of having that fear. And it's cool because this year was just a year of adapting and figuring out how to work with the craziness and figuring out how to work with the non-craziness. Oh my God, you're so funny. <laughs> you know, I actually saw him too and oh, <laughs> I'm just talking to my friends here. Uh, but this year, what was great about this year was that it was a year of expansion too. Uh, we brought on so many people and I learned the art of delegation. In the beginning of the year, I brought on my full-time assistant, Suyapa. Suyapa has been amazing. She started in about, I'd say, I think it was like around March, April or May around there. She's been with me ever since. Terry is a sales associate, showing agent on my team. Sofia Henriquez is now somebody that I'm mentoring, a new agent. And just like being able to mentor somebody and taking the time to do that, it's giving me perspective on so many different things because I'm trying to give her a hand like other people gave me a hand. And, and the, the art of expansion has been such a learning lesson for me because I've had to learn how to become a better leader. I've had to learn how to incorporate systems into my business. I've had to learn how to make and build a business that can function without me there. And that in and of itself is an art. Now some cool feats that we did this year was that from our song that we released at the end of 2021, It's Pinecrest, we got featured by the Miami Herald. They wrote a full article and did an entire interview of me on the Miami Herald. And that was like another vision board thing that I always had wanted to be on the Miami Herald and we did it. And on top of that, we got on Ocean Drive as well when we released our song, Welcome to Miami Beach, it's a year round summer vacation. The Ocean Drive interviewed us, wrote an article, a whole piece just about me and our art and our music. And then on top of that, they did a piece of our listing in Portofino, you know, 3405, which was incredible. We got so much exposure this year from media. It was something that honestly was amazing. And then we became Sp Spider-Man. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was one of the coolest videos that I've ever seen and Leo produced it super cool. And that leads me into this point is that this year we focused so heavily, we started focusing more rather on video production. 
Miami Lux Media does one tour every single week, no matter what, rain or shine, every single weekend. Leo Ferrer is doing my vlogs and my daily and oh, like videos for Instagram, TikTok, and everything. And so this year was trying to just learn more about social media and getting more of that exposure so that we can make our brand stand out from the 50,000 other realtors in Miami. And the last thing that we've done in terms of business-wise this year is that we are rebranding our business completely. Brand new logo. We are the Jonathan Vega Group. We're selling real estate the Vega way. That's why we put the Vega way of selling real estate. And our website is thevegaway.com because we are different, just like you have seen in all of our tours. So if we wanna go into the new year, reaching our new goals, we have to have a new look that matches who we are because we are not like anyone else. Go to thevegaway.com, search for a home. Now business is great, but personal wise, you're like what you know privately your mental everything that's all important so personally i want to tell some things that are pretty cool this year got into my routine of going to the gym every morning waking up at five in the morning starting that gym routine and getting to the office super super early 7 30 8 o'clock i want to be in the office before anybody else because that's my time where i can just plan and have my mind clear early in the morning no calls right and then again also another thing is i purchased my first property renovated it as well so that's an exciting moment, personally, as well. Um, and just overall, girlfriend, Elise, family, spending more family time, you know, making those Wednesdays our ritual for my mom, and then Sundays for my grandpa. Personally, thank God, everything has gone way great as well. And it wouldn't be a recap video without saying our goals for the next year. Next year, we are going to close $100 million. We haven't even reached half that just yet, but I know that we can do it and I'm confident because we've planned and we've done so much to prepare for that, that $100 million, I know it's possible. And as the saying goes, reach for the stars and you might land on the moon. So we're gonna reach for the stars and we're always going to be reaching because that's how, always how I've done it since the day I started. I've reached and I've reached and I've reached and eventually you get there. Another goal is that every single person around me grows. So Yapa, Sophia, Terry, Leo, George, Nico, every single person in my life, I want them to become better people. I want to help them become better people. I want to help them grow. I want to help them thrive. I want to help them succeed. I want to help them make money. I want everybody around me to succeed. That's how you build something great. And that's what we want to do is build something great. And we also want to expand. I want to bring other people on the team. I want to delegate more. I don't need to be doing every little thing that I've been doing. I want to delegate certain things. I want to expand, grow, become bigger, better, and stronger so that we can inspire, motivate, and help as many people as we possibly can in the journey. Another goal is that I'd like to be a better planner. I've already started incorporating habits to become that, but I want to plan everything out. I want to time block. I want to set aside time to do everything that I need to do in a day because I realize now as I get busier, as I'm becoming like a CEO, like running this whole big team, I need to be able to allocate time to what's important. And lastly, I want to provide the best possible content for you because not only the people who are around me, those aren't the only people I want to succeed. I want to see you succeed. I want to see you grow. I want to see you become a better person. So I'm hoping that these videos will provide value just that. We want to, I want to take this media, I want this to be like a media empire, a real estate media empire that no one has ever seen, where we not only we showcase properties, but we showcase happiness. We showcase you feeling a certain emotion when you're watching these videos. And without you guys, we wouldn't be able to do this. So make sure you go down, you like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you for the support in 2022. And I'm wishing all of you, I know all of you, will have an amazing 2023 just like we will. Peace and love, and a happy, happy holidays. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open place. Hey.